What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out 10 best assault rifles in the world of the year 2024. Obviously, this is subjective, I'm sure. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they put as their top 10. This is by a channel called All About Survival. Um, I've not checked out this channel before, so I will leave a link down below in the description, as I always do, for the original video if you want to go over there and check it out and see what their opinions are and see what they're saying in the comments about this weapon. And also check out what their um, other content is. We may have already reached half a million subscribers by the time this video comes out. Maybe. I'm recording this Wednesday morning. Um, it'll be out Thursday at 4 p.m. British Standard Time. So we may have already reached it. If we have, there will be a scheduled live stream tomorrow, Friday, where we will have a party. I say a party. We're going to have a live stream. I'm going to drink some mead back here. We'll pick out a mead. We'll drink it. We'll play some video games. We'll tell some stories. We'll have some fun. Maybe we'll watch some of the old original content from back in the day. Um, and we'll just hang out for a bit and have some fun. All right. So if you've not already, subscribe. Let's get past that half a million mark even further. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Other than that, let's shut up. Let's pull this up. And let's see what they consider the top 10 rifles as of 2024. The rifle is an iconic weapon with a rich and storied past. Rifles have come to dominate the battlefield since their introduction, yeah. although their early history is obscure. One subset of these firearms is known as assault rifles. Yeah. A selective fire rifle that fires intermediate cartridges and has a removable magazine defines an assault All rifle. Alright, let's get to number assault one. Assault weapons saw their first broad use and production escalation during World War II. Assault rifles didn't really take off until the German STG-44 a refinement of the MKB-42 was introduced. Classic. So, to help you with your decision, we have listed the... Top uh, oh, top eight? It says top ten in the, the top corner. The video says top ten. Is this top eight? Let me know what you think before we watch this. Oh, my 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 uh, head is still up here from the recording in the last video. I'm sorry. I'll put it back down here. Um, let me know what you think it is in the comment section down below before we start the video. Top 8 Assault Rifles and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. Nice. Oh, vibing. Love it. Number 8, SIG SG550. Classic. Classic. Great weapon. 86, the SIG <laughs> SG-550 has been produced. As a standard-issue military <laughs> rifle, it was adopted by the Swiss Army in 1990. There are around 20 nations where it has been exported. Yeah. Elite and special forces units typically employ it. These assault rifles were produced in excess old, of 600,000. They? They're an old rifle. This one's an old rifle, isn't it? The design of this weapon is conventional. It is a gas-powered, selective fire weapon that can fire 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO bullets. Classic, Although yeah. Although it might not be immediately apparent, its operating system is really based on the AK-47. Interesting. It does, it does, you know, have that kind of same, similar look to an AK variant, doesn't it? It has that similar it look. It is one of the best assault rifles in 5.56 millimeter ever produced. Oh. Typically... 20 round Massive. transparent magazines are used to load Swiss Army SG... Look at the size of it! For 5.56? Five, it's massive, isn't it? ...D550 assault rifles. However, 5, 10, and 30 run magazines are additionally offered. Mm. For speedier reloading, standard magazines can be fastened together. Oh. Number 7, Tavor Tar 21. Okay, so I have a bit of a thing for weapons that have the magazines further back behind the handstock. Probably because I trained on the SAA to... I just think they look cool. I, I honestly think they look cool. And I think because I trained with the SAA to, I'm used to going like this to reload a mag rather than, you know, up front. I'm used to I'm used to going behind and pulling it out. Um, so I have a bit of a thing for, for weapons that have the magazines further back. The Tavor Tar 21 Assault Rifle... Tell you right now, the SA-80 is not going to be on here. <laughs> ...IMI back in the early 1990s. <laughs> this weapon is simple, tough, and versatile. It was adopted by Israel in 2006 and became a standard-issue infantry rifle. This assault rifle has been exported to more than 20 countries. Ooh, it is okay. a gas-operated, selective-fire assault rifle with a bullpup design. Isn't that what Germany uses? What, there's a European country that uses it. Maybe it's not Germany, actually. 
It is chambered for standard NATO 5.56 by 45 millimeter ammunition. Mm. The weapon has a modular design with an easily replaceable barrel. It can be quickly adapted for a variety of roles by simply changing the barrel. Right. The Tar 21 proved to be reliable. Design of this weapon is based on ergonomics and composite materials. Interesting. The Tabor Tar 21 assault rifle is fully ambidextrous. There are spent case ejection ports on each side. That's really cool. Right or that is really cool. Rejection can be selected. A charging handle can be installed on either side of the weapon. Its bullpup layout gives an edge at close quarters and when employed inside vehicles. However, it is also well suited for precision firing at long range. Yeah, I don't know much about that weapon, but I do like the vibe of it quite a lot. The Tabor Tar 21 is fed from standard NATO M16 type magazines holding 30 rounds. Interesting. This weapon has a standard Picatinny type rail and is compatible with various scopes or night vision systems. It yeah. comes with red dot sights as standard. Looks very plasticky though, that doesn't the Tar it? Twenty one is much more accurate and reliable than the M4 carbine. I'm not a fan However, of weapons that look it plastic. Loses in terms of accuracy, if I'm honest with the you. M16 due to a shorter barrel. This assault rifle is compatible with the US M203 40 mm underbarrel grenade launcher. Oh, nice. Six, Stayer Aug. Nestled in the heart of Austin. This weapon, I feel like, is so iconic in its look. Almost like the P90 is as iconic. No, I'm not saying this looks like the P90. I'm saying that if you look at a P90, you're like, oh, that's definitely a P90. Like, you can tell by a mile away. And I feel like this is so, like, unique of a design that it's almost instantly recognizable, isn't it? Austria, the innovative Steyr Aug was born, making its debut with the Austrian army in 1977. Austrian army? Lauded as a trailblazer, the Aug captured the imagination of gun enthusiasts and military personnel alike upon its release. Yeah. Chambered for the NATO 5.56 by 45 millimeter rounds, this gas-powered selective fire weapon boasted a distinctive layout. Embracing a modular design, the AUG's versatility is unmatched. Simply by swapping the barrel, the rifle can be easily reconfigured to serve an array of purposes. That's really cool. The four primary barrel types, standard, short. It looks it looks almost futuristic in a way, doesn't it? I think it's because it's so smooth and like it's got a lot of rounded edges, whereas a lot of weapons these days are very like rigid hard edges, aren't they? So it is very like Halo-esque looking, isn't it? Carbine and light machine gun allow for seamless customization of the weapon to meet specific mission requirements. Constructed using cutting edge alloys and high quality synthetic materials, the Steyr AUG exhibits exceptional Whoa, portability, the barrel change, I've never seen that before. Its compact dimensions are owed to its ingenious bullpup design. A standard feature of the AUG is the absence of a separate fire mode selector. Instead, the progressive trigger cleverly manages the firing mode. Interesting. A half pull discharges a single shot, while a full pull unleashes rapid full auto fire. I don't like the trigger on it. I don't like the trigger. The idea of what it can do is pretty cool. I do like that, but I don't like the way that the trigger. I like a full trigger where there's no hollow part of it. I don't like it. This unique combination of innovation, versatility, and compact design makes a stayer aug an enduring icon in the world of firearms. It's pretty cool. Number five. AK-47. AK-47, yeah. AK-47, also known as the Kalashnikov, is a gas-operated 7.62 millimeter. I honestly think that this might actually be considered the best rifle ever made because it's so durable and it's just unstoppable. Like, you could literally run this over with a tank. It's been done before and it can still shoot. Like, this thing is, like, indestructible. It's a great bit of kit. It's classic and it's just... So versatile, like how many different variants have you got from it now? Rifle designed by Mikhail Kalishnikov in the Soviet Union around World War II. It is the first weapon in the Kalishnikov rifle or AK series. It was finished in 1947 as indicated by the number 47. Yeah. The 7.62 millimeter round fired by the AK has a muzzle velocity of 715 meters per second. Yep. 2,350 feet per second. The 7.62 millimeter M43 projectile has an unusual proclivity to remain intact even after making contact with bone, and it does not typically fragment when striking an opponent. Yeah, 7.62 7 is brutal. The 7.62 millimeter cartridge causes significant injury when the bullet tumbles, yaws in tissue. Yeah, it's but brutal. But it causes relatively minor wounding when it escapes before starting to yaw. In the absence of yaw, the M43. I think you could make a good claim that the AK is a is is one of the best most successful rifles of all time. I think you could make that argument. Round may pencil through tissue with little harm. Number four, Heckler and Koch G3. Mm. In the late 1950s, the esteemed Heckler and Koch crafted the formidable G3 assault rifle, which was adopted by the Bundeswehr in 1959. Great weapon. 
I honestly feel like I'm not as much of a fan of longer rifles, especially because of the way of modern fighting with CQB and stuff like that. I'm just not a fan of longer rifles. I'm a fan of rifles that can be used in multiple scenarios um, off the cuff, right? So if you can, if you're fighting out in the middle of nowhere and then you have to clear a room, you don't have to, oh no, I'm, I've got this giant rifle with me. Like it's something that's versatile and I, Although I, I can I can agree that these rifles are fantastic, I just feel like I'm not as much of a fan these days as the longer rifles. The G3 reigned supreme until the mid-1990s when it was succeeded by the G36 assault rifle. That's a cool Variants weapon. The G3 continued to serve in German border guards and police forces. Mm. Boasting widespread adoption, the G3 was once the standard issue assault rifle for 75 countries and remains in service Ooh. in over 60 countries. That's mental, some like nations, it. licensed variants of the G3 continue to be produced. Chambered That's for the crazy. standard NATO 7.62 by 51 millimeter ammunition, the Heckler & Koch G3 employs a roller-delayed blowback operating system. It's so long. The G3's economical production is attributed to its incorporation of stamped steel parts. Feeding Obviously, it's a bit older, though, isn't it? box-shaped magazines constructed from aluminum or steel, the G3 assault rifle is also compatible with 50-round dual drum magazines. That's cool. Early G3 models featured simple iron sights, later supplanted by dioxide. Yeah, so this is obviously something that's been, you know, elaborated on and changed and, and been made into new, which is good in a way. ...type sights. The rear sight post houses a rotating drum... Imagine how heavy that is. ...for 100, 200, 300, and 400 meters. They're a Furthermore, gimmick. The, G Bar the, the, the drum barrels are a gimmick. They really are. ...three can accommodate scopes or night sights. The versatile G3 rifle can be outfitted with the HK-79 40mm underbarrel grenade launcher... Nice. And can launch barrel mounted rifle grenades. Have you ever shot a grenade launcher from underneath a rifle? It's one of the most satisfying things ever. We did it in training and it's brilliant. Additional accessories, such as a silencer or bipod, are also compatible with this weapon. Imagine Although adding a silencer to that. Look at the length of it already. You had a silencer to that. Jesus Christ. From an older design era, it has proven to be an accurate, rugged, and reliable weapon with ease of maintenance to boot. Yeah. Comparable in popularity to the Russian AK-47 and American M16, the German G3 is gradually giving way to more modern designs. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, its enduring legacy as a formidable assault rifle remains steadfast. Yeah. Number three, Heckler & Koch G36. Okay. In a masterful display of engineering prowess, Heckler & Koch conceived the G36 assault rifle. Now, I don't know really anything about this rifle. Um... But I like the design of it. I can already see certain aspects of it that I'm already a fan of. To supersede the G3 in service with the Bundeswehr. Since 1995, the G36 has served as a standard issue infantry rifle for the mm. German armed forces, garnering exports. So this is the one the Germans use. Okay. Worldwide. Chambered for the standard NATO 5.56 by 45 millimeter ammunition, yep. the Heckler & Koch G36 embraces a conventional gas-operated selective fire mechanism. Mm -hmm. It incorporates proven elements from the preceding G3 rifle design and shares internal similarities with the U.S. Armalite AR-18 automatic. I just like how, again, it's a little bit shorter and could be used in them, you know, trickier, trickier areas, the CQB areas, and I prefer that. I really do. Automatic rifle. The G36's sophisticated design prioritizes reliability, boasting a simple yet effective layout. During trials, a G36 prototype outperformed the Austrian Steyr AUG. Utilizing state-of-the-art manufacturing... It's a really good-looking weapon as well. I like that there's not too much to it. It's not overcomplicated. There's parts that are taken out, so weight is considered in the stock. You know, it, it seems like it's a pretty solid, you know, design. Is that the safety clip? The safety clip's massive on it, isn't it? Um, I don't like where this... If that is the safety clip, which I'm presuming it is, I don't like where it's located. In the SA-80, it's right next to the trigger, so you can easily swap between safety on, safety off. Um, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know. Manufacturing techniques, the G36 assault rifle is crafted to exacting standards. Feeding from 30-round box-shaped magazine made of translucent plastic, mm. the G36 enables rapid reloading by allowing two or three magazines to be clipped together. The weapon is also compatible with 100-round dual drum magazines and with some adjustments, can accept any standard NATO 556 by 45 millimeter magazine. Yeah. Integrated into the carrying handle, the standard German army rifle features a dual sight system, 
comprising a three point i'm only seeing the safety on and off though i'm not seeing like is it got dual dual firing did he say that can you go full auto with it i didn't hear if he said that and 5x magnification scope for long range precision shooting and a 1x magnification red dot oh, yeah, above there. it for close range engagements the right g36 there. rifle can accommodate the hk ag36 40 millimeter under barrel grenade launcher and launch barrel mounted rifle grenade so the safety there it's got um single fire and uh full auto on there as well so the some of them didn't show that adornments the g36 is a modern lightweight accurate rugged and reliable weapon yeah while its reliability may not rival the AK-100 series, the G-36 compensates with exceptional precision. Furthermore, the G-36 operation and maintenance remain straightforward, making it an exemplary firearm for the modern age. Yeah. Number two, AK-103. Okay, so this is another AK variant. I feel... Yeah, he's put the AK-47 in its own category, and that's fair. I just feel like the AK variants... They really are pretty much just the same rifle, just upgraded a tiny little bit, whereas some of these other rifles are not. So I feel like you could just say the AK is the all-round best assault rifle ever made. In my opinion, I think you could certainly make that argument. The AK-74M assault rifle, which is widely employed by the Russian army and many other nations worldwide, mm. gave rise to the assault rifles in the AK-100 family. Technically speaking, these assault rifles are comparable to the storied AK-47, but they use modern materials and better production techniques. Right. The AK-103 is one of them. It is capable of firing 7.62 by 39 millimeter Big rounds. Big rounds. It is the original ammo that the storied AK-47 assault rifle fires. Comparatively speaking, it has better penetration and stopping power than the 5.45 by 39 millimeter ammunition chambered AK-74M. Oh, so the AK-74M does 5.45. Interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, the 7.62 is an, it's an absolute beast of a round, isn't it? There's also an AK-101 that can fire 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO ammo. Oh, interesting. The Kalashnikov functioning mechanism is shared by the AK-103 and other rifles in the AK-100 series. These weapons gain notoriety for their unmatched dependability. Yeah. Any mistreatment and abuse a soldier can dish out to this assault rifle won't break it. Although it is not particularly accurate, it will still function in the worst circumstances. Right. Number one. The M16. The M16 classic. A groundbreaking design by Armalite was developed to fulfill the U.S. Army's requirement for a new assault rifle chambered in an intermediate cartridge. The weapon was ultimately adopted by the U.S. Army as the M16 and became the standard issue infantry firearm. So this, I feel like this is another one where it's a solid weapon. I just think it's, obviously as it's got older, it's definitely a little bit too long for modern fighting it's a great weapon like obviously it should be on this list should definitely be on this list but i just feel like modern modern times the rifles have to be shorter they do conceived in the late 1950s the m16 was an avant-garde design for its time mm. the u.s army sought a lightweight weapon resulting in an extensive use of weight saving materials in the m16's construction yeah aluminum replaced steel and fiberglass supplanted wood the M16 also boasted an ergonomic design, incorporating numerous innovative features that earned it the moniker Space Rifle. Space By Rifle. The barrel with the buttstock, the M16 significantly reduces recoil. I've never heard it being called Space Rifle before, ever. Oil, ensuring smooth operation during fully automatic fire and easy control. Consequently, its accuracy during automatic fire surpasses that of many other assault rifles, providing a distinct advantage. Interesting. Despite some shortcomings, the M16 has proven to be a formidable weapon in combat. Yeah. Newer models include... It's also incredibly I uh, iconic, isn't it? Like, the look of it. You could put it up there with, like, the M1 Grande as, like, just... Uh, and, like, the P90. Like, you just... You see it and you're like, I know what it is. It's a classic. Like, you know exactly what it is instantly. Incorporate a Picatinny-type rail to accommodate various optics and detachable accessories as well as an underbarrel grenade launcher. Mm. Since its introduction, the assault rifle has undergone continuous improvement, spawning hundreds of variants. Yeah. Approximately 8 million M16s have been oh. produced, with the weapon and its derivatives now employed by over 70 countries worldwide. Wow. The U.S. Army still utilizes the improved M16A3 variant. Mm. When comparing the M16 to the AK-47, the M16 boasts three primary advantages, range, accuracy, and weight. Which are all like, some of the most important ones, to be honest with you, aren't they? This combination of features has contributed to the M16's enduring success and widespread adoption. Mm. So that wraps up our list of the best assault rifles. Good video. Hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. 
yeah, great video. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to watch it. What do you think is the best all-time rifle? I can you clump all AK variants into one? I think I think you can make the argument that you can. I really do, and I think that there's an argument to say the AK is the most, maybe not the best, but definitely the most successful rifle. I think you could definitely make that argument. Um, the M16 is definitely up there. The SA80 A2 is definitely not up there. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Great video. I'd love to know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm pretty pretty confident we'll be over half a million at this point, and we'll be doing a live stream tomorrow on Friday uh, where we have a party. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be something special. Until next time, I love you all. Goodbye.